Okay, so... Back on May 11th. So, this would have been Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Major League Baseball put out a statement. I think I still have that statement here somewhere. Let's see. Is it here? Or is it here? Not sure. Uh, great. Now I don't have the statement. Anyway, the statement basically said that Major League Baseball doesn't have any faith that the Oakland Athletic or uh, the Oakland City Council uh, is making any movement on the proposed Howard Terminal ballpark in um, downtown Oakland. As in our feature game, we're going to the bottom of the fifth inning, still 1-1 Giants and the Pirates. Um, so essentially, Major League Baseball is tired of the city of Oakland jerking them around and trying to figure out what exactly they're going to do. Major League Baseball and the Oakland Athletics have both come out and said that the Coliseum is not a viable option for the future of baseball in Oakland. Um, and anybody who has actually been to the city of Oakland and to the Oakland Coliseum know that that is not a false statement. The Oakland Coliseum is a toilet. Um, and here's the thing. Here's the thing that really, I don't think anyone has actually brought up or if they have, it's just kind of been brushed aside. But this is the same thing that the Oakland City Council did when they lured Al Davis and the Raiders back to Oakland. They promised him a new stadium. They promised him upgrades on the Coliseum. And all they did was built that monstrosity out in center field that is known as Mount Davis. The place has been falling apart. Um, it was even mentioned in uh, the movie Moneyball. There's a scene where Brad Pitt's walking into the clubhouse and he makes a comment, uh, oh, smells still getting bad. They've had sewage leaking. They The, the stadium itself, um, when it was, you know, before Mount Davis was built, and let's face it, when the Raiders were in Los Angeles, the Coliseum was a decent ballpark, but it's old. It was one of the cookie cutter monstrosities that was built um, to be a multi-purpose facility, and it's the last of a dying breed. Um, the city of Oakland screwed the Raiders around so much that they moved to Las Vegas. Well, guess what? I'm seeing a lot of parallels with what the city of Oakland is doing with the Oakland Athletics um, and I could very well see the athletics, uh, pulling stumps and moving to Las Vegas. Uh, that seems that it's the likeliest possibility. Um, I mean, the Raiders have already moved there. Um, they are, there, there's plenty of room to build a ballpark. It's not like that you're in the confines of a pre-built city. I mean, it's a freaking desert out in Las Vegas. You can build a ballpark anywhere you want. Um, as long as it's, you know, somewhere we're near the strip where the gamblers can go play, you'll be fine. Um, but a couple of days ago, actually, as a matter of fact, today, Oakland Vice Mayor, uh, Rebecca Kaplan has requested the Oakland City Council vote on the athletic ballpark term sheet on July 20th. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, the City Council also sent a letter to Major League Baseball on Friday stating that the Oakland City Council is committed to negotiating in good faith for a strong future for the A's in Oakland, and we invite the A's in Major League Baseball to do the same by agreeing not to seek relocation while the A's complete the project process as the council moves forward. Well, come on! How are the A's not going, and Major League Baseball not going to seek relocation? This is an issue that has been going on since the Raiders were talking about getting a new stadium, the A's have needed a new stadium. What is this process that the Oakland City Council is trying to follow in order to get a new stadium in Oakland? They're pushing the matter 
on the back burner and on the back burner and on the back burner and on the it's that's the way that the Oakland City Council is going to do. I don't want to get political. I'm and I'm not going to get political. But I believe you know some of the priorities that the Oakland City Council has um I think are a good thing. There is the you know the 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 homeless issue that they're dealing with, drug issues that they're dealing with. Um, d- d- Oakland has a lot of problems. It is it is a very dangerous city. Um, and the thing is, the A's have not shown good faith up to this point. So why would Major League Baseball and the Athletics sit in a holding pattern for another 10 years while the Oakland City Council sits on their thumbs and you know, twiddles their fingers and wastes time. You know, and the, the thing that really blows my mind um, is that in this letter, they said that they felt there was some incorrect information within Major League Baseball statement. Okay. So let's, let's address the two issues in that letter that they had an issue with um the first thing is that the council said it has not been delaying or refused to consider the ace project proposal i call bs on that one because you've been refusing to do it for five years ten years however many years it's it's been a long time um so the term good faith and the Oakland City Council don't belong together. Also, they question MLB's designation of the Coliseum as not a viable option for the future of A's baseball in Oakland. How is the Coliseum not a viable option? The stadium is falling apart. There are issues upon issues upon issues. Nobody likes playing in that stadium. And to call that statement an unsupported conclusion is a load of crap. Because I guarantee you that the Oakland Athletics have come to that conclusion multiple times because they play in that stadium. The Oakland City Council doesn't. I don't even know how many times the Oakland City Council actually showed up for games pre-COVID. The letter finishes by stating, and I quote, in any case, we hope you will understand that the shifting quote unquote demands on what Oakland must do, combined with your public threat to allow the team to leave, even while the city is undertaking the items that you and the Avis have urged, might leave the impression that there have never been any good faith intent on your part to work on a future of ballpark in Oakland. How idiotic is that statement right there? For the city council to say that there has been no good faith intent on the part of Major League Baseball to get a ballpark in Oakland? It's been Rob Manfred's wet dream since he took over the commissionership. It's not his fault that the San Francisco Giants wouldn't give up territorial rights and you couldn't move to San Jose. It's not their fault that the city council keeps pushing the issue year after year. We keep talking about when are the A's going to get a new ballpark? The answer is when they move. So, I mean, I'm not even an A's fan, but I mean, I respect the franchise first and foremost. Um... I have a lot of friends that support that franchise and the rebuttal letter that the Oakland city council sent to major league baseball is a huge red flag to me that tells me that the A's time in Oakland may be running out and we may see that happening by 2023. I don't see the A's playing in Oakland past 2023. 